Good morning children. Now we know how humans walk. So let us understand how other animals move. We know only humans can walk on two feet all the time. Yes, the gorilla, apes and the chimpanzee can walk on two legs but not for too long. What about the other animals? Have you ever wondered how animals can run faster than us on four legs? You know, a four-legged animal pushes its body forward using its hind legs and then stretches out its front legs. Then its front legs come down on the ground and it pulls its body forward while it is on the front leg. Thus, the dog, cat and even the fast deer and cheetah run by pushing body using the hind legs and then pulling the body using the front legs. The cockroach is an insect. The cockroach is very lucky as it can move around and fly too. It also has two pairs of wings which are attached to its breast. The breast muscles help to move these wings to fly. The birds also have wings but these are actually the modified four limbs. It is made of bones, muscles and feathers. Their strong breast bones help to flap the wings. The birds have hollow bones so their body weight is very light and ideal for flight. The birds can walk, run, hop on the hind legs. Few birds are good swimmer like the duck. The duck has flipper like feet which are ideal for swimming. Many animals move in strange fascinating way like the earthworm, snail or the snake. The earthworm does not have bones. The earthworm is very soft because its body cavity is filled with liquid. It has muscles which help to extend and shorten its body. Its muscles squeeze against the body liquid. To move it first extends the front part of the body, keeping the rear part fixed to the ground. Then it fixes the front part to the ground using bristle-like parts. These are called setae. Then it releases the rear part and pulls it forward. Repeating such expansion and contraction, it moves forward by a small distance. Just like an earthworm, the snail doesn't have a backbone. It has a shell which protects its body. It has an outer skeleton which is not made of bones. The outer skeleton or the exoskeleton doesn't help in movement like the skeleton in the humans. The snail has a thick muscular structure which is called a foot. The foot muscles produce wave-like movement that pushes the snail forward. And what about snake? It doesn't have legs just like the snail earthworm but it moves very fast by slithering on the ground. How does it do that? The snake has a skeleton inside the body that is endoskeleton with the backbone just like us. But the snakes have a long backbone. They have many thin muscles. They are interconnected to each other even though they are far from each other. They also interconnect the backbone, ribs and skin. You know, the snake's body curves into many loops. Each loop of the snake gives it a forward push by pressing against the ground. Since its long body makes many loops and each loop gives it the push, the snake moves forward very fast and not in a straight line. Now we know how animals run crawl or fly. But how fish swim so fast? A fish has an inner skeleton that is endoskeleton with a backbone. The muscles are joined to the both sides of the backbone. During swimming, the muscles make the front part of the body curve to one side and the tail part swings towards the opposite side. Thus, the fish forms a curve then quickly the body and the tail 
curve to the other side. This makes a jerk and pushes the body forward. A series of such jerks make the fish swim ahead. And the tail fin helps in this. A fish also has other fins on their body which mainly help to keep the balance of the body and to keep the direction while swimming. You know the head and the tail part of the fish are smaller than the middle portion of the body. The body tapers at both the ends. This body shape is called streamlined. This shape helps to reduce the water resistance. You know this shape is also copied in the boat, ship and the airplane design to reduce the resistance of water and the air. That was all for today. Bye bye children.